Hi, I'm Landara Cromwell, inventor of the AMI Acoustic Meridian Intelligence Devices and the CEO of Sima Technologies. This is the second tutorial Zoom video for the basics of the AMI 850 and AMI 500. I'm Kate Holland, Sound Education Director for Sima Technologies. In today's training, we are going to talk about the Sima 10 channels. And then at the end of it, we will answer the most frequently asked questions about the material that we have provided in this training. So the Sima 10 channels are those amazing uh, channels that we use to begin to unravel the uh, initial signs of stress and the underlying cause of chronic inflammation and relieve pain. So let's get to work right away and we'll start with channel one for stress relief. This is one of my favorite channels. <laughs> so many people ask, uh, what kind of stress does this really help with? Because stress is a word that we throw around a lot in our society. So I love these channels because every channel has something in it for the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, etheric bodies. So we uh, have stresses of so many different kinds in our society today. It can be physical, spiritual, mental, lack of purpose, you know, chronic fatigue in the body. And this stress channel is the most amazing one, it, uh, there's a reason why it's listed as channel one, right? If you don't know what else to do, do channel one. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Kate, you're right. Stress is the background noise that is going on all the time now in our current life. And, you know, we have the stresses of the world and we then we have our, our community stress and then we have our um, our family stress, our relationship stress, our personal stresses, our work relationships, um, so much stress, so many ways are we uh, being pulled that we don't not even identify it as stress anymore. Stre if somebody asks you, are you stressed out? They go, well, of course, we're always stressed out. Mm -hmm. And so channel one is that channel that really, if you don't know what else to do, do channel one. It has frequency uh, codes that address uh, the multiple aspects of stress from the physical, the emotional, the mental, uh, psychological, the spiritual. As Kate was saying that uh, it also helps even with the deep levels of soul searching of what am I here to do? And um, not that it answers those for you, but it puts you into a particular environment that things begin to organize. You know, sound does organize matter. And so when this particular channel is playing, it uh, seems to organize uh, all the parts that are creating this physical and emotional stress cycle that are causing the stress. And so anyway, it, the, the, everything gets organized and then you can have these, um, uh, there's an opportunity for the insights and the things are calmed down. You see ways to accomplish um, challenges in your life that, that maybe um, you hadn't seen before. So um, now more and more research suggests that stress is one of the major underlying causes of disease. And the body just doesn't get sick for no reason. There's always some disturbance. And most of the time it's been going on for a long time before the physical form starts to show us symptoms or disease. So um, also we wanna talk about how best to use this channel. So uh, people go, well, I went to my practitioner and I got my stress channel done at one o'clock and then I went back to work and I just don't think the stress channel is working. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we want you to, you know, have those of you who are private owners, you know, you want to do use the masterful ways that of uh, utilizing these channels. And so the stress channel is done best later in the evening, you know, if you've been working all day, 
when your most of your stressors are already gone. That's when you're going to receive the most help. Also, it is tremendous in helping to improve your sleep pattern. So the closer you can use it to bedtime, then you get the benefit of retraining your brain about stress and also deeper sleep. Marvelous channel. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites, mm -hmm. obviously. Okay, so let's move on to channel two for musculoskeletal pain. So sometimes people say, what should I do if I just sprain my ankle or I've been out doing sports? Which channel would that be? And so the musculoskeletal system channel is wonderful for acute pain and, you know, injuries that have just happened. And it also pairs well with channel three for inflammation if you have long-term chronic pain. But the musculoskeletal channel has frequencies for tendons, ligaments, bones. It can help with misalignments and nerve pain. So it's a good general channel to go to if you have pain. So let's remember, we're talking about patterning here, the AMI frequency patterning. Well, we have a patterning that's going on in our body. And once we have an injury, once that uh, a, a joint or a tendon, a ligament, uh, a bone uh, fractures, or, or, or there's some pattern that we want to sort of, you know, um, love, but yet uh, have the vibrational imprint of what the regeneration of this part of the body um, is needed. And so when we use the channel two for the sports injuries in particular, this is like retraining that area to come back into resonance to its uh, the, the um, uh, structure of where it was strong and working very efficiently. And uh, it's the same way with the, the joints and, and uh, just everything about the musculoskeletal system. So um, it's a marvelous channel, whether you're a, um, a sports enthusiast, a, uh, a, an, an athlete, uh, you a, know, gardener. The, a gardener, a <laughs> gardener, uh, taking care of children, lifting. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a great channel for, for that. So, and then I guess we'll tag along with channel three. You want to do the launch on channel three? So um, we like to say that our most incredible pain protocol is a combination of channels two and three. Most of your pain has something to do with the musculoskeletal system, which also includes nerves. So you're, you're going to have uh, some pain receptors there, but then if this is long-term chronic pain, you will also have the inflammatory process going on with it. So our very, very best pain protocol is a combination of channel two and three. Now, there's so much deep pain relief and relaxation frequencies in these two channels that you may not be able to do both of them back to back unless it's time for you to go to sleep at night. So we say, again, uh, maybe you would want to do channel two in the earlier part of the day and then channel three in the latter part of the day. And that way you could actually spread out, you know, the pain relief, the healing potential throughout the day. Um, so, but then if you want to do both channels back to back and it's later in the evening, then you can do one and maybe get up and walk around a little bit and do the second one. So we also want to say, if you are a person doing your channel sitting in a chair, that you want to make sure that you get up between two channels, because there's hardly anybody on earth that sits in perfect alignment for a full 30 minutes. And if you're working on a musculoskeletal issue, you want to make sure that after the first 30 minutes, you get up and move around and allow all the healing benefits of that first channel to come in. And then you can go back and do the second channel when it's right for your lifestyle and pain relief, et cetera. And we might just take a little tangent here. And, um, you know, when we're in pain, if sitting in a chair causes you pain, what are, what's the adaptation? <laughs> okay. <laughs> one, of, one of the favorite, favorite things, once you learn how to do it, is doing your sessions lying down. And so if you were to go to a massage therapist, they would put a bolster or some kind of props and cushions 
underneath your thighs. And then they you would be able to lay with your spine flat in a nice alignment. And then with the use of the AMI device, you would want to get a computer or a lap desk or some kind of prop to tip the device up so that your feet don't have to feel like they're reaching for it. You want to have the right uh, slant of the device so your feet rest easily on the pads. And then when you're able to do your session like that is when you can go into that deep trance, you know, that deep, beautiful nap where the body's healing magic can really start to happen. The whole idea is this is about pain relief. <laughs> this is not about if it hurts. Continue. <laughs> it, 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 right. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is set yourself up for relaxation and uh, then uh, start the protocol. Um, just one little comment about this. Uh, one person said that they in, was in a very, very cold climate. Mm -hmm. put it under the blankets in their bed. So I just want you to know that the device needs to have air circulating in it. So you don't want to cut off the airflow from the backside of the device. Um, so we appreciate you uh, wanting to take it to bed with you. But <laughs> <laughs> it uh, could come with some consequences if you don't allow the, the airflow. But do set yourself up so for comfort um, uh, particularly if you're dealing with lower back pain or mm -hmm. some type of pain where you can't get comfortable in a sitting position. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'd like to take a leap off into channel three. Uh, Kate touched on how you use channel two and three for sports injuries or, or uh, wow. musculoskeletal mm -hmm. injuries, uh, joint pain, that type of thing. Associated with um injuries if the if the initial injury there there is an inflammatory process that that comes on to tap the body on the shoulder and say hey you need to pay attention to this i just sprained my ankle or i just twisted my knee or or shoulder or whatever but the thing that really plagues our patient population today is chronic inflammation. And so it's this chronic inflammation that I really wanted to get to the bottom of early on in my designing of the protocols of, of, of the devices. And so I was so grateful to be led to the use of thermal imaging where you use a camera that does not touch the body and you can actually track the inflammatory process uh, while the channel is being experienced mm -hmm. by a person in real time. And you can see pictures of this on the website, on the uh, AMI device page, and in most of my presentations, because this is such a crucial uh, underlying aspect of why we do not heal and why we can't get well on the physical level. Now on the mental emotional level, that's a different video, but we're talking about right now, the physical aspect of chronic inflammation. So with the inflammatory process, of course, eventually there will come pain. And that is another tap on the shoulder of saying, hey, pay attention to me because something is going on here. With the chronic inflammation, how, how do you know that you might have this? Well, if you have skin rashes or, or headaches, you know, pain is, is definitely a symptom of that. But um, digestive upset, anything that might not feel right is probably a sign of an inflammatory, a, a, a chronic inflammation cycle going on within your body. Now, uh, there's a lot of research and um, uh, data out there on how chronic inflammation leads to heart attack, stroke, um, you know, the, the, the big diseases that uh, uh, are plaguing our population. But those are silent. And so what we want to do is we want to work preventively 
and not get to the point where there is a heart attack or there is a stroke? How do we help corral that inflammatory process and get the body reorganized into a pattern where it's wa working efficiently and, you know, kind of taking you off this pattern of illness into the pattern of health and longevity. And this is the beauty of channel three for inflammatory pain, even though it might not be a pain that you can sense yet. So when we see inflammation in the body, you'll see it on our website in the thermal images. You've seen it um, in the sports injury of the lower leg where someone was been dealing with this uh, chronic inflammation, an injury that just would not heal uh, for over eight years. Uh, we've seen it in our peripheral artery disease and peripheral vascular disease study. We've seen it in our um, torso thermography where challenged uh, breast patients are having significant um, signs of inflammation in the breast tissue and in the lymph nodes. We see it in the oral cavity, in the heads, in the neck, in the jaw, the TMJ. We see all of this. And you can, again, you can see this in the uh, presentations on the website. But this is the channel, channel three. And I have to admit, next to channel one, channel three <laughs> is one of my favorites. Uh, those are my two that I love, you know, almost every day. Um, that uh, really uh, recommend that, um, you know, particularly if you're in the older population, that we uh, do this particular channel regularly to help keep that chronic inflammation uh, at bay. We need to cool the body down because once the body is on fire, it gets caught in a chronic cycle. And, you know, once we interrupt that cycle, then the body has the opportunity to sit back and go, oh gosh, I was using so much energy for that fiery war that now I can actually calm down and use my resources in another way that my body is is needing so that's my my uh <laughs> my soapbox for channel three uh, for inflammatory pain so i think um all of that's so so important when you're looking at your overall health and a word that we might look at is chronic so when you have pain that becomes chronic a cough that becomes chronic a skin rash that becomes chronic digestion that's chronic, that would almost always indicate that there's inflammation present. You know, as Mandara said, it can be silent. You cannot know that it's there at all. But, you know, when these particular body responses become chronic, then you can look towards the inflammation channel. And then one more thing about pain is if you've been doing this chronic pain protocol or what we consider to be our very best pain protocol of channel two and three, and you are not really getting the pain relief that you want, we would also encourage you to look at channel 10. So channel 10 is for the nervous system. So if you have nerve pain that's been going on for a while and uh, you know it's just not responding to channel two and three, you might want to give that a second look. And um, so oftentimes, if you've been trying two channels and they're not working for you, we say just stop everything for a little bit and try a different channel so that you can see your specific response to that one and determine if it's really the one that you need. So, um, you know, there's no cut and dried answer for every single person. And pain is one of the most difficult things to treat in this world today. And if you don't know what the real cause is, if you don't know what the real location of the pain is, then, you know, it takes a little while to unravel this. So we encourage you not to give up if these pain symptoms don't disappear right away, because it can take some time to get rid of the inflammation. It can take some time to soothe those nerves. And so they're not firing pain signals anymore. Yeah. And again, this has to do with the patterning. So your body's been operating on a particular cycle. This particular pattern is uh, has imprinted. And this is what the whole communication system is operating from. And so it might take a while uh, or a different protocol maybe to reset that pattern. And, uh, you know, again, you know, contact us if you would right. like some help uh, in that. 
So our next channel is another <laughs> favorite of mine. <laughs> oh gosh, one of my favorites. favorites. <laughs> channel four for Vitality. This is a fantastic channel for people who just can't get out of bed. <laughs> if you need some, some energy, I call it the energetic cup of coffee. Even though it is not a stimulant like coffee, it is a wonderful energetic protocol. And I do caution for those of you who are sensitive uh, not to do this protocol after four o'clock in the afternoon. Otherwise you'll be up cleaning your garage <laughs> and organizing your closets at one and two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we do call it, we consider it to be one of our wellness channels. I mean, you can look at all of them as wellness channels when you like as a maintenance approach or whatever, but the vitality channel is, is something that if you're if you want to feel a natural sustainable energy throughout your day it, it's a really good channel to do now if you're a sports enthusiast a workout person somebody you know who's preparing for a fitness competition you can add this to your uh, list of things that you're doing for your training and it will help to you know fortify and sustain your energy level then we have other people Maybe you are recovering from something. Maybe you're recovering from a surgery or maybe you've just had a child or some other things that have may have depleted your body temporarily. This is a good way to help yourself get back on your feet. So, um, yeah, so we want, you know, what is vitality anyway? <laughs> you can have, you know, when you meet somebody who's full of energy, then that usually means it's not just a physical thing, but it's a mental thing, a spiritual thing. So it, this channel helps to revitalize your vital life force. And that vital life force is reflective all throughout your being. So that's, yeah, that's more it than the cup of coffee thing. <laughs> We love the Vitality channel. Mm -hmm. But then I also love channel five, the anti-aging channel. Oh gosh, this is one of my favorites too. Um, let's see, uh, there, there's too much to tell about channel five. That could be a whole hour or two dissertation. Yeah, so. But the, um, so every, we always say this is the one that relates rather specifically to the Chinese medicine part. And uh, Mandara is always fond of talking about how there are the organ pairs. And when all the organ pairs are functioning together, the symphony is all playing and everything's in tune. Um, and so again, uh, we consider the anti-aging a wellness channel. So you're not really gonna go to it if you're full of inflammation and you're totally stressed out. We wanna get you on a real even keel and then you know start to fortify all the organ pairs and their function. Right. So I created this particular protocol to tonify the organs as they're represented in the five element Chinese medicine um, uh, program. And um, so like the liver gallbladder and the heart, small intestine, the uh, kidney bladder, the spleen, stomach. So these are the pairs and to tonify all of these organs, just kind of uh, in a, a real general fashion. So it's very easy. It's very, um, it's just gentle and, and refreshing. I feel, um, I guess I feel like uh, my, uh, uh, so for those of you who are, are familiar with Chinese uh, Taoist medicine, you know, we have the, the five element, the five cloud meditation in Qigong, where we visualize each of these organ pairs and, um, you know, it, my organ system, when I'm doing this, we call it the anti-aging channel. Um, they just feel so blessed and happy uh, while doing that channel. So, And it also points to making that commitment, just giving 30 minutes to where you are just totally focused on your physical form, on your organ system because the body carries such a heavy burden all the time. And if you can come in and just give it that 30 minutes of your attention and intention, you know, we 
speak a lot about that too. People go, well, what am I supposed to do when I'm on this channel? You won't let me be on my phone. I'm not on the computer. What on earth am I supposed to do? And so we just smile and say, well, you know, you can close your eyes and you can affirm that every single channel, every single code is helping you within that channel. And then your intention about, let's say that you want to strengthen your heart. So during this time, you're envisioning that the frequencies are helping to strengthen your heart and all your other organs. It is a marvelous time to love on yourself. Um, you know, we spend our whole day outward. We're looking outward. We're dealing with things outward. You deserve this 30 minutes <laughs> to not be at cross purposes with yourself, to put your phone down, put your, put everything aside and just close your eyes and go within. And, you know, whatever your method is, you can just sit quietly and listen to the ambient sounds. You can um, um, meditate or just let your mind wander, but just allow yourself for 30 minutes to close your eyes and go internally. And, you know, you can watch observe where you sense the sounds going and you know it might be a a, a protocol um well we'll just talk about the anti-aging protocol since we we're talking about that it might you might feel it like in your liver or in your if you if you don't know where your organs mm -hmm. are you might want to look at a chart to say okay the liver gallbladder is on the right side am i feeling it over there or just you know, pay attention. We highly recommend that you do keep a journal or a few little notes about what's happening with you because the more attention and intention you have with connecting with your body, with your intention of ultimate optimum health, with a supreme quality of life, um, then the more you will get out of the session because the intention coupled with the sound is amplified throughout your whole being and your body loves that. Mm -hmm. The cells sing and dance like you've never felt before. So putting everything aside and just devoting to this 30 minutes is really important. Um, so thanks for doing that on behalf of your body. I'm saying <laughs> thank you for doing this. Okay. All right. Should we move on to the body balancing channels. Yeah. Channel six. Mm -hmm. So channel six in recent years has become so invaluable and so, uh, truly amazing because when people have been fighting off viruses or fighting off long-term chronic symptoms, what is the very first thing you need to do? You need to boost your immune system. And uh, over the past couple of years, if you weren't thinking about that, you are thinking about it now. You know, many people were caught off guard and had no tools to boost their immune system, but that's what our channel six does. And so well, while other frequency devices and methods may kill off certain things, our device was put together to support the body and help it come to its own healing process. So in this channel are beautiful tissue oxygen frequencies, oxygen, ozone, everything that would help you to fight off, uh, you know, invaders, we, we, we would call them, things that are challenging your immune system. This channel is going to be your best friend. It is. And for those of you who um, are aware of um, my research and, and, and the research, the published research that John Reed did, um, the codes that he worked with, that he um, experimented with in his red blood cell viability experiments are the codes from this particular channel. So they increase the cell membrane permeability, which means that you're more efficiently taking in the nutrition and excreting the metabolic waste. You are more um, efficiently uh, uptaking oxygen. The oxygen levels were increased by 15%. Uh, the cell 
viability was increased 365%. This was like uh, amazing. He couldn't even believe that. And so this is that channel that has all of those codes from there. And um, so that's a, a really good resource for the immune system, keeping us strong. We need to keep that, um, the immune system loves the oxygen because once it can help us, you know, churn through any viruses or whatever that may become burdened within the body, um, we're, we're helping it deal with that. Mm -hmm. So um, I think too, this is another place where we can see how valuable the device is for health and wellness. And you can, if you know that you're going to be in a big uh, arena where there's lots of people and you just want to make sure that you're not going to catch something <laughs> or whatever your story is, you can uh, do this whole wellness protocol with Channel 6. You know, you can just do it a couple of days in a row before you're going to go maybe fly on a plane or go to some big, uh, you know, gathering of people. And just to tap your immune system on the shoulder and say, hey, let's resonate really high here and know that we're protecting the whole body. Because if you don't have that immune system working, the other systems are not going to do well. So that's the number one body system that we want to uh, support and yeah, promote. Mm -hmm. And it also is very close cousin, you know, we want to work together with the hot, super oxygenation of the cells with channel seven, and that's body balancing B for the respiratory system. So those, because of the oxygenation part of it, those two channels, we sometimes pair them up. If you have long-term chronic lung disease, or if you have uh, leftover symptoms from a virus of some sort or another, then uh, pairing channel six and seven can be very beneficial. Yes, and um, first of all, I just wanted to touch on, we're not guaranteeing anything, but what we are doing is we're saying that we're giving you tools to empower yourself to be the strongest that you can be, that your body allows you to be, and in going out and, and being in the world and dealing with the stresses, because this again has to do with stress. So by channel six for body balancing A for the immune system and channel seven body balancing B for the respiratory system, which has all of the uh, codes for the uh, brachial system, the um, bronchial tubes, the, um, the lung, the, anyway, the nasal passages, uh, every, all of it, yeah. all of it mm -hmm. to fortify all parts of the body in that way, you're going out as strong as you can be. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so, yes, we've had many people contact us, uh, recently because of the after effects of long haul, um, Corona viruses, uh, or whatever it is, whatever it and is. And <laughs> so anyway, they're very sig It's a significant challenge with the lung system. And uh, also, I might say that, uh, you know, COPD is one of those chronic conditions that a lot of our, our um, elderly, or maybe even not so elderly, um, we have people who are in their 50s and 60s now who are coming to us with a diagnosis of COPD. This channel seven for the respiratory system is a wonderful support for them. Mm -hmm. And so uh, as Mandara was saying, we can set you up, we can fortify you. But for example, if you're full of inflammation and you're highly stressed out, it may be more difficult for channel six and seven to help you. So this is why we say, begin your protocols with the first couple of channels in FIMA 10 to undo that inflammation process, to undo the stress process so that your lungs can work better, your immune system is working better. So we, that's the reason the system, our system is built this way. So, and then just to tag back, because I think it's important to talk about channel one for stress relief. I do wanna tell you a little bit about, um, Dr. Beverly Rubick did some preliminary um, study. And I mean, I didn't even know she was going to do this, but uh, she uses live cell microscopy where she takes blood and puts it under a microscope and takes a look at it. And uh, what she discovered uh, before a session on the AMI 850 was that the white blood cells 
we're very lethargic. Now we need those white blood cells circulating, scavenging. They are our immune surveillance. And if they aren't out there doing their job, then we get into trouble. So um, then she looked at the blood again after the 30 minute session of the stress relief protocol and the, those lethargic white blood cells were stimulated and activated and they were doing their job. They were out there gobbling up all the debris and all of the rogue cells and the things that they are meant to do. And so this is another, you know, sometimes we look at incorporating this channel as well. So we've got many ways to help, you know, if you're out in the public, you're flying a lot, you're um, uh, in areas where maybe, um, you know, a hospital or, or, or a community where there are a lot of unwell people and you need to fortify yourself, we have different ways to help you with that. So I know our time is coming to an end. So let's go right on to channel eight to body balancing C for the cardiovascular system. So I think a general statement about the body balancing channels is they are put there to fortify that system of the body. Now, if you're a person that has long-term chronic heart disease, we might not want to overstimulate your cardiovascular system. So when we are talking about body balancing systems, we want to use those to help prevent disease and help uh, in the earlier stages of disease. So if you have a serious diagnosis with your heart or some other system, you might want to contact us, you know, contact our advanced level therapist so we can make sure you get the right protocols with the body balancing systems. Just because you have a heart situation doesn't mean you should automatically put on the heart channel. Sometimes what it really needs is a lot of oxygen instead. So we, we would want to look closely at your health history and for very serious diseases like that. Exactly, exactly. But if you if you have a cardiovascular system that's just really, maybe you've had a year of really difficult, stressful you know, situations that you've been in, you could go back and support the cardiovascular system for whatever, you know, compromisation had happened from your stressful situations. And then, of course, we have the digestive system. And uh, this is like a really favorite channel. So many people, a huge percentage of the United States and the world has digestive system problems. But is it really the digestive system or is it the stress and inflammation that's causing your trouble? So these are the things that we weigh, but we, um, you know, sometimes people say, can you um, use this digestive system channel with the detox? And of course, you know, it's great if you're on a very... Um, uh, a specific detox where a healthcare professional has prescribed certain nutritionals for you, and it's an extended period of time, you can look into how to integrate the digestive system channel. We can talk to you about that. But if you're on your own, you could just say, oh, for three straight days, I'm going to do the digestive system channel, and I'm going to eat a light soup diet, or I'm going to do something really great for that system. And then it's a gentle detox and it's a helpful step that you can take until you might do something more serious or a deeper situation. In Ayurveda, we say that all disease stems from the digestive tract. Um, stress, et cetera, is from undigested food or undigested emotions. Uh, or toxicity that has not been able to be processed out by the body. So Body Balancing D, channel nine, is an amazing channel to incorporate into um, your lifestyle if, if you are having those issues. I personally use it on a regular basis with the change of the seasons. Fortunately, I don't have uh, too many digestive uh, issues, but every now and then I come usually <laughs> emotionally how to digest something. And so, you know, this expresses in the physical body, whenever we have something in the subtle bodies and we're not processing it quickly enough, it shows up, it expresses in the physical body either in the digestive tract or maybe by a rash, if you're, you're itchy, uh, many symptoms, which uh, we can go into in another session. But for right now, 
Um, what we're talking about is the digestive tract in general and how to uh, calmly incorporate this into the, the um, uh, daily regimen. So should we now address channel 10 for the nervous system? This is our last channel for the SIMA 10. So um, people go, well, now I thought I read somewhere in your materials that channel 10 has something to do with toxicity. And um, yes, of course. So when we were looking into all the different diseases of the nervous system, you can find out that many of them are caused by environmental toxins. And so we decided that since people have nervous system disorders, it's a pretty strong element in our society today, that it might be good to have a channel that has some toxicity frequencies in it to help gently release environmental toxins. And so that could be anything from all the perfumes and all the stuff that gasoline, there's so many things in our atmosphere that are um, hard to release from the body. So if you have chronic pain, it's not responding to the pain channel. If you have a nervous system disorder, that's when channel 10 would be perfect for you. If you know that you know, maybe somebody has been able to help you determine how you got this nervous system disorder, maybe it was your exposure to toxins. And if that's the case, you might want to do a more serious um, detoxification process. But this is a very easy, gentle place to start. If you have long-term nerve pain, it's going to soothe your nerves and, and it is going to help with long-term chronic stress. There are a lot of conditions that are associated with uh, neuritis, which is the mm -hmm. inflammation of the, the nerve. And then this is a, a time when we would combine channel 10 with channel 3 to address that, uh, as Kate said earlier in this video, when you're on a pain, a chronic pain cycle and using channel two and channel three, you don't feel it's getting you quite uh, to the place where you'd like for relief, then we do filter in channel 10 for the nervous system to be able to um, in increase the amplification and, and messaging uh, that benefit the nerves because uh, the nerve endings are are crucial crucial parts of our communication system and so we want to give them some love and uh, beautiful songs to resonate with as well. So anything that we miss? Oh, our, uh, our questions. questions and answers. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Oh, what kind of stress is channel one good for? So I think we have touched on that a lot, but um, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, any any kind of stress, and then also long-term chronic stress, uh, this channel is going to relax your brain waves and give you, if you do a full six-week protocol with it, it's going to help retrain how you perceive stress. It's going to help reframe it and uh, do lots of things to help you uh, be able to function in this world because the stress isn't going away. We have to have tools. Yeah. This is the one channel that people um, comment on that after their six week protocol, things that had a charge initially no longer yeah. seem to bother them. It's just like, it's not a trigger anymore. And so they're better able to handle it. So that's a great benefit from the channel, it's channel one. So we also, it, we say that it sort of retrains your brain. And so this is exactly why you don't want to be on your phone, your computer. You don't want to be doing things that are stimulating you. Somebody said, well, can't I even listen to a podcast? I said, what's the podcast about? Is it about murder and mayhem or what is it about? Because, you know, you don't want to have that stimulation. You want to be able to. Here's the idea. You're doing this to relieve your stress. Mm -hmm. So if you're listening to something that's causing you more stress, then like I say, you're at cross purposes with yourself. So you deserve it. You deserve 30 minutes to love on yourself. So if I have just sprained my ankle, I'm going to want to use channel two. It's for acute pain and those uh, that channel is going to help the musculoskeletal system. Now, if this goes on for several weeks, I still have pain and it's worsening. I might want to add in channel three. 
and that would deal with the inflammatory process. And so um, what are the indications that you have chronic inflammation? We can almost always go to that word chronic and go, is it something that has stayed for a long time and is not getting better? I touched on this earlier. Mm -hmm. It can be headaches, pains, skin rashes, allergies, cough, sensitivities, mm -hmm. coughs. Yeah, all of those are, are signs of chronic inflammation in the body. Oh, should I use stress and vitality channel in the same day? Mm -mm. Okay, should I be up or should I be down? Should I be cool and mellow or should I be charged up? <laughs> so we all, sometimes we say you can't serve two masters. You've got to work on your stress relief or you've got to work on increasing your vitality. So, you know, if you, since you are a private owner, you want to get a good stress relief protocol under your belt first anyway, because some of the, one of the things that steals your vitality is that chronic stress. So let's get you over the stress thing, reframe all that. And then that vitality channel is going to work a whole lot better. What part of Chinese medicine is supported with the channel five? I think I um, mm -hmm. answered that pretty much in um, a, a few moments ago, but what we're looking at is um, the organ systems as they relate to the five elements. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful channel. If I had a bad infection, it's become chronic, what channel to use? Okay, so sometimes your infection would heal a lot faster if there wasn't chronic inflammation. So you may look at it and go, oh, I better deal with the inflammation. But if it's a really bad infection, we want to go boost your immune system. So you have to look at your situation and go, what's the body's first priority? Do I need to deal with this powerful infection first or can I deal with the inflammation first? If you're able to do both channels and you will see that both of these channels are in our great dental protocol also. So if you're fighting some sort of disease like gum disease or infection, tooth infection, you would use channel three and six, and you would also do this with a uh, chronic infection. And so I might say that the oral cavity, um, you know, if you go to PubMed and type in uh, oral bacteria linked to disease, you will see over 2000 published studies linking the bacteria mm -hmm. in our uh, mouth to heart disease, lung disease, cancer, a, a plethora. And so you might want to uh, check with your dentist about any inflammation going on in your mouth. If you have crowns, um, root, root canals. canals, bridges, things like this, these are all areas where unfortunately uh, bacteria breeds. And so you have silent infections that are happening and build over a period of years and then finally express in um, maybe other parts of your body. And you don't know that's exactly where it came from. Anyway, there's a lot to talk about there, but um, the oral cavity is, is uh, key to watch when you're maintaining the markers for a healthy lifestyle. Um, how can I use the body balancing channels as wellness channels since we're talking about a healthy lifestyle? This is a great question. So wellness uh, with our devices means that you're using a maintenance protocol. So you can say, I'm feeling pretty healthy, Kate, and I, I'm feeling pretty good. So what should I do? And I'd say, get on your channel six for the immune system and do it once or twice a week. And then that way you're going to keep that immune system working and it's going to protect all the other systems in your body. But the truth is you could do that with every single one of the body balancing channels to fortify whatever system of your body. Most people can identify what's their weak link. Do you always get cold and flu? Is it your lungs that aren't really strong or what is it? some sort of digestive thing. So you become a great observer of your own being. Pick the channel that you think would be most helpful to your body and just concentrate on that a couple of times a week. And that would be wellness, wellness, wellness. And mm -hmm. so the other thing to, uh, to focus on here is uh, if you have a genetic predisposition to something, mm -hmm. you might want to use that channel for um, supporting your body in that way. Or if you, as we mentioned earlier, go out into the public a lot and um, um, among people who are um, unwell, 
you know, you might want to do a, an appropriate channel. We think about our healthcare workers on that one, you know, if you're nurses mm -hmm. and doctors and well, any healthcare practitioner where you're in close contact with your patients, always good to build the immune system, always. Should I use the cardiovascular channel if I have heart disease? If you have long-term serious chronic heart disease and you're on several medications, we would want to talk to you. We would want to, your our advanced therapist to discuss your health history a little bit and um, and refer to maybe our uh, panel of experts that we talk to about serious cases. Yeah. And I think we already answered this. Can I use channel nine with a detox? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, how does channel 10 work with toxicity? And I think we addressed that. So the one thing, the one addition to it is I would remind everybody that our research has shown us that when people are in EMFs all the time. If you're on the computer a lot, phone a lot, and you're not protected in any way, the biggest side effect of being in the EMFs is inflammation. So if you have work that you know you're not going to be able to get out of the EMFs, but you're going to be on the computer, et cetera, et cetera, then you need to take the steps to protect yourself. And that would be with channel three for inflammation. Wow, mm. this is great. I <laughs> love the Sima 10. <laughs> um, you know, again, we encourage everyone to visit our website, go through the website, read the different articles, uh, because there are little jewels in uh, every article, every little paragraph is uh, gives an insight into the magnificent <laughs> benefits and many ways that the device can be used for you uh, and your loved ones and everyone around you uh, to maintain optimum health. We invite you to not only look at the website and read all the uh, information, look at the uh, YouTube channel with the videos, but also um, make sure that you contact us for your three free hours of consultation with one of our advanced therapists. And if you really are inspired to want to help your friends and your community, we invite you to take a look at our certification program because that's a, a marvelous way to help others. And that's what we're really here to do. Uh, I think we're all placed here to help each other in our own special way. And every one of us, all of you, each one of you has a very special part in this big puzzle. And um, keeping well, being well, maintaining health is one of those very special parts, special contributions. So I wanna thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for being with us. And I'd like to read you this very beautiful statement. The information that we've provided here is the intellectual property of Dr. Mandara Cromwell and Sima Technologies. We created all of this for the use with AMI Acoustic Meridian Intelligence devices. And so these devices are to be used in support of your body's health and the body's systems. And we do require, you know, we require you to have some information. It requires skill and technique to get the optimum use of your devices. So we hope you will come to us for all of that and we wish you vibrant health. Thank you and see you in the next video.